All right, you got to brace yourself for this one. You wanted an intense lower ab muffin top melt burner, and this is what you're going to get because I am going to push both of us today to the absolute max. So get ready, grab some water because we are going to get an intense ab burn. Now, one little question that I've heard that's come up just a little bit is what is the difference between BTES and burn? Well, you can get rid of BTES. That was our old app. Say hello to our brand new app, Burn by Rebecca Louise, with daily workouts, workout programs, a mindset section, nutrition, one-on-one -on -one customized nutrition plans, and everything that you need to help you get incredible results. So do not worry about BTES. The only focus is right here on Burn by Rebecca Louise. And make sure that you download the app after you have crushed your abs with this intense muffin top burner. All right, are you ready? I said, are you ready for this? Because we are going to feel the burn. Let's go. So how is this going to be the most intense ab workout ever that you've ever, ever done? Well, we are having no timer on this one. We are just going to both push ourselves. So are you ready? Now, I always like to do the very first exercise just to warm up the core to make sure that we are activating those abs and we are not going to work our back. So first exercise, relax your head down on the ground. Arms are going to be straight up. And just to make sure that everything is working correctly, we're going to do a few little dead bugs. So here, I want you to pull that belly button in towards your spine and then just alternate your legs forwards and backwards. Now, I'm going to give modifications in the top left-hand corner. So make sure that you're taking a look at that. So if you need to have a break at any time, I just do the modifications, but we are going to push ourselves today. All right, lift up that chest a little bit, and we're just going to do the same thing. So really tuck your hips underneath. There should be no gap between your back and your mat. And this makes sure that our core is activated, and we are not going to be working our back. We're going to put all of that tension right there in our core. All right, extend that arm. Inhale and exhale. Give me one more on either side, and hold for three, two, one, and then take it over to the other side, and hold here for three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna shoot those legs up to the sky and we're gonna take it into a leg drop with a little pulse and then all the way up. So just take a nice big inhale and a nice big exhale. Give me a little pulse right at the bottom. So extend those legs nice and straight. Your chest is lifted and you're just gonna give yourself a nice little pulse at the bottom. Here we go, point your toes and pull that core in. Now, if your back starts to come off the ground, you just wanna take it to halfway mark, all right? There's no point bringing your legs down lower. If your back is coming off the ground, you're not gonna do anything for your abs. You are just gonna damage your back. So here we go, tiny little pulse right here. Breathe through it, inhale and exhale. All right, here we go for three. And let's go for two and one more right here. Okay, we're gonna bring those legs in, arms out to the side. We're just gonna take it into some bicycles. So right now we're still just doing a nice little warm up, a nice little workout. You're thinking, Rebecca, this isn't difficult. This isn't hard. Oh, just you wait. We are getting to that point. All right, here we go. So take it into your bicycles and remember just to have fun with it. This isn't about comparing. Can you do it? Can you not do it? Can somebody else do it? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are here. You gotta be proud of yourself for showing up and giving it a go. And you're just going to get stronger. Compare yourself to you last week, to this time last month, to this time last year. All right, that's where you want to see the progress of where your mindset is at and where your results are at. Okay, here we go. We're going to pick it up a little bit faster. That's it. Now try to bring that elbow towards your knee, not the knee towards the elbow. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Let's go. We got this. Whew. It's starting to burn. We're starting to get those abs on fire. That's it, take it across the body. Here we go for five, three, four, and three. Yes, two and one. Now you're gonna hold here. That's it, three, two, one. Take it over to the other side. I know it's burning. Three, two, one. Back to the other side, that's it. Now lift up that chest just a little bit more. And now take it over, we're gonna do it one more time. So hold, 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 and then switch over to the other side. Now lift up that chest even more, even more for three, two, one. Take it over to the other side and hold it here. You've got this for three, in two, in one, and gently release down. All right, we're gonna take it into a hollow body hold, right? So those legs are gonna come straight out. You're gonna lift up that chest and you're gonna drop those arms over the top of your head and just breathe right here. That's it, inhale through your nose. Oh, exhale everything out. Hold that hollow body hold. You've got this. Everything should be burning right about now. Now tuck your hips underneath. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Point your toes. Hold it right here. You've got this. Come on, keep that strength right here. 
breathe through it. Come on, everybody. Arms over a little bit further at the top of your head. Legs just an inch or two down. And here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And release. All right, bring those knees in towards your chest. Go from side to side. We're going to shoot those legs back up again. You're going to take it down to that leg drop with a little pulse and then all the way up to the sky. That's it. Little leg drop and then up. That's it. Breathe through it. Tiny little pulse of the button all the way out. Can you start to feel your abs are on fire? Mine are definitely starting to kick in. We got this. Come on, inhale through your nose, exhale everything out. Little tiny pulse and then all the way up. Now this time, relax your head down on the ground. I want all of the tension right there in your abs. If you are not feeling that tension in your abs, I want you to tuck your hips underneath. That's it, pull the gap between your back and your mat. Woo, looking good everybody, come on. Here we go, we've got five. Let's go for four. Yes, all the way through, three. Keep this going, two, and one more. All right, coming back to those bicycles, lifting up through your chest, taking it across the body. Oh yes, now can you feel the difference as you twist that core? Oh my goodness me, it is on fire. We got this for 10, nine, eight, whew, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it up here for three, two, one. Take it across the body, lifting up here. Hold for three, two, one. Over to the other side. Hold for three, two, one. Take it all the way across. Here we go. Three, two, one. One more time on either side. Lift up. Come on through the chest and take it over to the other side. Hold for three, two, one. Now bring those legs straight out into that hollow body hold. Little pulses right here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Ooh, take a deep breath in. Oh yes, my abs are on fire. Please comment in the chat at what point so far your abs have felt like they are going to fall off because that was the moment right now. We're gonna keep on going. We're just, we're in for six minutes. We're gonna keep this body going. We're gonna keep these abs on fire. But let me know at what point you were like, whew, this is a serious ab workout. All right, bring your hands behind you. We're gonna keep this going. We're gonna take it into V-sit oblique twist. So you're gonna extend out, twisting your core over to the other side and then pressing through with those heels, taking it across the body. That's it, extend everything. Inhale and exhale, that's it. Hold that core nice and tight. Really twist those legs over to the other side. Press down into your fingertips, lifting up through your chest. And here we go, extending nice and long. You've got this, come on. Here we go. Now, give me a little pulse at the end. That's it, kind of just like a little bounce. You got this. One more on either side, all the way down, and then all the way underneath. Here we go. Two more times. Push it through and extend. All right, we're gonna come all the way back down, and we're gonna take it into some little flutters. Okay, so this is really lower abs on fire. So here we go. So starting at the top, relaxing your head down onto the ground, and just flutter your legs. But right? if you're feeling that, too much in your quads, you can just slightly bend your knees and then lifting up through your chest. Okay, here we go. Take those legs down just a little bit more. Feel that burn working. All right, belly buttons pulled in nice and tight. Inhale through your nose. Exhale everything out. Come on, here we go. Elbows even wider. Breathe through it. You've got this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and gently release. Okay, arms over the top of your head. We're going to take it into a full sit up. First of all, you're just going to get those feet exactly where they need to be. And we're going to take it down really, really slow. So belly buttons engaged, shoulders are down all the way through, slow and controlled. Inhale and exhale. Come on, nice and slow, all the way down. And then arms up halfway and then extend, lifting up. That's it. Slow, controlled. <sighs> Breathe. Now this time you're going to come to halfway, little pulses. Oh, yeah, the burn is real. Right about here. I can feel it. It is working. Drop those shoulders down. Little pulses for 10. Breathe through it. Come on, here we go. Keep that strength. Even if you have to take a quick little break, just come back to it. Push yourself. This is intense. This is what it's for. For five and four. Yes, three. Come on, two and one. All the way down. Shoot those legs back up to the sky. Back into those spotter kicks. Hands underneath your booty and take it into those spotters. First of all, just relax your head down onto the mat. Now lifting up through your chest. That's it, lifting up just a little bit more. Point those toes, bring those hands behind you. And let's pedal it out. Here we go, come on, flutter. Bring it down a little bit lower for 10. Breathe, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna flip on over onto our front last little bit right here. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna take it into a nice wide plank and you're just gonna tap underneath. So tap and pull those abs. So working those obliques, pull that core in nice and tight. You got this. Woo, come on, we got 30 seconds here and then we're gonna flip back over onto our backs for our finale. Woo, who is ready for the finale of ab exercises? Here we go, come on, 15 more seconds right here. Keep your body moving, feel that twist and breathe through it. Come on, five and four and three. Yes, come on, one more on either side, two and one. All right, just to get that heart rate up a little bit, we're gonna come all the way onto your back. Oh, very final exercise, very final exercise. Here we go, we're gonna take it back into our bicycle. So take it across, you'll feel ooh, how much your abs are on fire after doing that other little set that we did. Here we go, let's speed it up just a little bit more. That's it, now bring your chest up higher. Think about bringing your elbow towards your knee. It's not your knee to your elbow, it is your elbow towards your knee. And here we go, we're gonna hold for three, two, one. Take it across the other side, hold for three, two, one. Now we're gonna pulse it, three, and two, and one. Over to the side, here we go, three, and two, and one. One more time either side, three, come on, two, and one. And again, three, two, one, back to bicycles. Taking it across your body, that's it. Lift up through the chest, just a little bit higher. Here we go for 10, nine, this is the last part. Eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one last little bit, hold it out, hold it out, hold it out. Arms over the top of the head, little pulses, little pulses with your legs. That's it for 10, nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Whoo, those last little pulses were the killer. Amazing work, we crushed it. Over 10 minutes of just pure abs. Ha! Oh, what a finisher, what a finale. Now, if you're like Rebecca, that was way too easy. Well, you need to add in another one of my workouts. Oh, you definitely, everybody needs to download the Burn by Rebecca Louise app because there are so many workout programs on there. Whole bunch of mindset, food, everything that you need to help you get amazing results and feel part of the family. Whew. Take a deep breath, everybody. You did amazing, but keep going. There's a couple more ab workouts right for you. I hope you love this style. Let me know in the comments if you want something more similar to this and like different parts of the body, and I'll, I'll be here ready to help you crush those workouts. All right, see you next time.